These are the first four elements of the gene mindset. When these sound like simple things, but implement them correctly, truly and correctly, in your mind, will change your entire view of the world. You will start to look at everything completely differently. When you implement these four things correctly, when you say, if I say something, I'm gonna do it, my word is iron will. You say that nobody is ever coming to save me, ever. You say that I'm pissed off, I don't have the life I want to have. And you couple that with, I believe I can do anything. If you truly believe all of these four things, it's going to change your entire view of this planet. Whether you love Andrew Tate or whether you absolutely hate him, these tenets of a G mindset are going to be crucial for your success as a trader. And when I first started trading, whether I realized it or not, I was actively applying all of these tenets into my own mindset. And I learned them through mentors and of course my father who's been a professional trader for over a decade. So whether or not you like Andrew Tate, let's judge the merits of these tenets instead of just looking at the person who is stating them. So let's hop right into the class and talk about how you could become the trader that you want to be. And in this class, we're not going to be talking about price action. We're not talking about support and resistance or volume or anything like that. We're talking about mindset. And it's very cliche, but your mindset is one of the most important parts of your success, not only as a trader, but also in life. And the way that you structure your attitudes and the way that you structure your thinking is very conducive to the success that you're going to achieve in trading. And there's a very good reason why people write mindset books. Everyone talks about if you approach life with the right mindset, you could achieve anything. And I absolutely believe that's the case. It doesn't matter how many charts you analyze, how many trades you take, how much you refine your trading plan. If you don't have the proper mindset, you're never going to be able to achieve success. So let's talk about those tenants in depth and how I actually applied them when I first started trading. And the first one is, I believe I can do anything. You need to have the utmost confidence in yourself that no matter what you want to accomplish, you're going to be able to accomplish it. You cannot have any doubt in yourself. And whether that means you have to wake up every single morning, go to the mirror and tell yourself, I could do anything. If I want something, I could achieve it. You need to literally hardwire that into your brain. And it doesn't mean it's going to happen easily. It doesn't mean it's going to be quick. But the fact that you can accomplish it, that needs to be hardwired into your brain. Okay, you can't have any doubts of yourself. And when I first started trading, when I first started, you know, even as a beginner, I knew I was going to be able to do this. I never had a single doubt in my mind and it made it so much easier to actually go through the, you know, struggles through the hard times of trading when I was I wasn't making money, when I was losing money and nothing seemed to be going right. That inner belief in myself just carried me forward. And you, you need to have that same inner belief as well. With, even if you have to be delusional about it, you need to have that self-confidence in you. And when you do have that confidence and you're obsessively thinking about trading or whatever you're trying to pursue, you can literally manifest things into existence through the power of your thoughts and through the power of your beliefs. And I have an amazing story uh, which was very surreal at the time. I happened to be in Sweden. So I was trading in Sweden for a few months. I used to have a Swedish girlfriend. We're not going to talk about that now, but I happened to be in Sweden. And for a few months, might have been maybe two months, and this was still, I was still a relatively beginner trader. This was maybe a year and a half after I started trading. So I knew what I was doing, but I was still relatively, you know, a relative beginner. And I remember I kept obsessively thinking about teaching others and lecturing other people on how to trade and you know talking about trading in front of a large group of people. And I kept obsessively thinking about it. I just wanted to do that. I wanted to be like a professor for people. And after a few weeks of thinking about that and just obsessing over it, I get a call from my now business partner and he was at the time working on a education, trading education discord. And he asked me to work with him and I was like, okay, you know, let's give it a shot. And three days later, I was teaching in front of a hundred people on discord and they were listening and taking notes. And I was literally like their professor. And 
it was surreal. Like I literally felt like I manifested that into existence. And I truly believe that if I could obsessively think about something and I have that inner self-confidence that I can accomplish it, I can make that happen just through the power of my belief and the power of my thoughts. And the other thing you have to consider is that if there is a 5%, let's say, of traders who do succeed in the markets, why can't you be a part of the 5%? Why can't you be a part of the 2%, right? Why can't you be that person who succeeds in trading? And that's the way you have to think about things. Why can't I do it? There is no reason why you can't, and that's what you have to believe. And of course, don't create excuses for yourself. That goes without saying. So let's move on here. Next point, nobody is ever coming to save you, ever. And this really applies for trading because no one is going to trade for you. No one is going to teach you. No one is going to put in the work for you. Even if you're a part of different signal discords or you're receiving signals from a professional trader, let's say, that professional trader still isn't actually executing the trades for you. That's all in your hands. You're the only person who could succeed in trading. You're the only person who can create the life that you want. And that should be a very liberating feeling. You're accountable. It's your responsibility. And the other thing is most people are too consumed with their own lives to even care about you. Maybe there is a select number of people in your life, perhaps your parents, maybe some close friends that do truly care about you. However, they're not going to learn for you. They're not going to like sit there and babysit, babysit you throughout the process. Even my father, who mentored me and guided me, I was trading with him in this same room, literally right next to him, right here. This is where he usually trades. And even he told me, listen, I could teach you, I can mentor you, but you're gonna have to put in the work. I can't do this for you. You know, I'll help you as much as I can. I'll give you the trades that I'm doing, but it's up to you. And that's what you have to kind of instill into your mindset. Your success and where you end up in life and as a trader is in your hands. So what are you going to do with it? Next one, I'm pissed off. I don't have the life that I want. So if you're sitting there and maybe you've traded for a few months, maybe you're a beginner trader and you're frustrated, you're angry about your results, that is totally fine. That means you're doing the right thing. If you're feeling that frustration and anger, you have to use that to your advantage because frustration and anger can be absolutely excellent motivators in life. So use it to fuel you forward. You experiencing those emotions and you being angry actually means you're doing something right because there is no winner, no successful person who hasn't gone through struggle. It's just a part of the process. And most people, as soon as they experience that struggle, they quit or their mindset becomes so fragile that you know they're not putting in as much work anymore. You need to understand that that anger that's coming from within you, you need to use it to your advantage. Help it propel you forward. And you need to develop urgency, okay? I don't know what age you are. You might be 20, you know, maybe you're 15, 16, maybe you're 30 or 40 or 50. It doesn't matter what age you are, develop urgency that you have to start accomplishing this and becoming a profitable trader as soon as possible. Now, I'm not saying skip through the steps. I'm not saying it's going to be inherently quick. What I am saying though, there are a certain amount of activities and things that you need to do to set yourself up to become a successful trader, right? Maybe taking trades, improving your trading plan, improving your risk management. You need to start doing those activities as soon as possible on a consistent basis. You need to have urgency. You need to go through life thinking, I am running out of time. And maybe even if you're 15 or 16, maybe you're looking at your life and you're saying, I have plenty of time to learn how to trade. I have my whole life ahead of me. But by you instilling into your mindset that you need to start accomplishing things quicker, that's only going to benefit you. That urgency will lit a fire under you and you'll realize that, hey, I, I gotta get my shit together. I gotta start working because I really don't have that much time. So develop urgency. Even if there isn't any urgency in your life, you're doing quite well, whatever, develop it. It's only going to push you forward. It's only going to help you. It's gonna make you more successful. Even if it's not required, even if you have to be self-delusional about it, it'll only help you. And number four, if you say something, you have to do it. 
And the thing about trading is, you know, on one hand, it's really nice that we don't have a boss, right? We don't have to go to work. We don't have to have someone telling us what to do. But on the flip side, that means we are our own bosses, right? I'm my own boss. That means I have to hold myself accountable because I don't have someone telling me, hey, you need to improve your risk management. You need to improve your entries. I don't have anybody in my life telling me that. I have to do that myself, which means I have to be accountable for what I am doing. And I have to make promises to myself that I have to honor. I see lots of people, they honor the promises that they make to other people, but they don't honor the promises that they make to themselves. And that is, it's just confusing to me. If you tell yourself you're gonna do something, if you tell yourself I'm putting in three hours today to review my trades, I'm putting in another hour to find some swing trades, I'm putting in another hour for my preparation for tomorrow's trading day. If you say you're going to do it, I don't care what comes up, you better do it because you made that promise to yourself, okay? Your word is your bond. And your word has to be your bond to not only to other people, but to yourself as well. So if you say something, you better do it. And if you could do that, I mean, you're going to accomplish great things because everyone says, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start a business. I'm going to become a trader. I'm going to learn how to read charts. But they never do it because they don't have any honor, right? Their word is not honorable. Their word doesn't carry value. And if you want your word to carry value, whenever you say something, you have to to do it, all right? Next is, these are some things that I personally did to become a successful trader. These were imperative uh, for my trading results and why I became a successful trader relatively quick, quickly. So let's hop into it. Number one, this doesn't have anything to do with trading, but it's start going to the gym. And I'm not telling you to become a bodybuilder. I'm not saying you need to have massive arms what I am saying is you need to be going to the gym or doing some sort of physical activity on a consistent basis. I'm talking about at least three to four times a week, but ideally go to the gym, get the weights in, start to develop the body that you want to develop, right? Even for myself, I'm not a bodybuilder, right? I don't have these massive arms, but I'm in shape. I consistently go to the gym. I was able to build up a nice frame for myself, right? I'm not some uh, gym athlete, but... I go to the gym consistently, and that instills tons of discipline into my life. And it helps my trading in lots of ways, you know, aside from the fact that sometimes it's nice going to the gym to blow off some steam after you had a bad day. The discipline and the structure that going to the gym provides you will greatly help you in your trading, because a lot of the times uh, trading is psycho psychologically difficult. Right. A lot of it is more of psychology rather than the actual price action, the actual execution of the trades. And going to the gym helps you have that strong body. And I've never met someone who's had a strong mind without a strong body. So going to the gym will actually help your psychology in trading as well. So make sure you're consistently going to the gym. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Next one is create daily routine and make sure you structure your life. This is something I got from Jordan Peterson. He's a big component of this. He always tells his audience to make sure you have structure in your life. And what that means is make sure you wake up at the same time. Make sure you eat breakfast at the same time. You sit down to prepare for your trading at the same time. You go to the gym at the same time. You have dinner at the same time. You complete the other tasks you need to complete at the same time. And what that will do is add structure to your life, right? Where you know exactly what you're doing every single part of the day. And over time, it's going to become a very habitual. You're gonna develop really good habits because you're doing them every day and you're doing the same things at the same times every day. I promise you, if you're able to do that for a month or two, you're gonna to get to the point where you're doing tons of super productive things but they feel easy to you. They feel It feels like you're not even doing anything because it's become such a habit. And that's when you could achieve maximum productivity. When you're at the point where you're doing amazing things with your day, but because it's become such a habit, it becomes easy to you. And that's where you wanna be. And from there, you could add more tasks to your day. And all of a sudden, you're a super, super productive person because you've structured your life in a way where you're accomplishing so many tasks 
without making it super difficult for yourself. Next, block out all outside noise. Ideally, don't tell anyone that you're a trader. It's just not a good idea. Most people will call you a gambler. Most people will doubt you. You don't need that negative energy in your life. You don't need people constantly demotivating you, telling you that what you're doing is a waste of time. So don't tell anyone that you're trading and instead work in silence, go full monk mode. And once you actually achieve some results in trading, that's when you could start telling people, telling your family, telling your friends. And I promise you, as soon as you see those results, instead of them roasting you that you're a trader, they're going to start asking, oh, uh, you know, can you, can you maybe teach me? Oh, what stock should I buy? What crypto should I buy? Oh, can you manage my money for me? That's what everyone asks. And that's what's going to happen to you as soon as you achieve success. But before that, keep it on the low. Don't tell anyone. You don't need negative energy in your life, clouding your judgment and affecting your decision making. Next, focus on the activities that lead to the goal rather than the goal itself. This is something I got from Alex Hermosi, which was really interesting. He said that winners focus on the activities that lead to the goal while losers focus on the goal itself. So what that means is instead of thinking about, am I a profitable trader yet? Did I make six figures yet? Did I make $5,000 today? Instead of thinking like that, that's a very results based mindset. Instead, think of it like this. Did I wake up at the right time today? Okay. Did I prepare today? Did I follow my trading plan today? Did I follow my reward to risk that I set out for myself today, right? Did I have good entries today? Did I review my trades today? Did I journal my trades today? And if you're doing all of those things, then no matter what the result is, that's a good day. So don't base your results and your progress as a trader based off the money that you're making because you're not gonna make money in the beginning. You might not even begin making money within the first few months, right? I'm not sure how long it might take you but you can't base your progress based off the result. Base it off of all of the small activities that you're putting into achieving it, right? So as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, right? Journaling, taking the right trades, following your plan, et cetera, then that's a winning day. And always focus on the small wins. For me, when I first started trading, uh, my small wins were finding stocks for my dad to trade. So I was sitting there on my tiny little laptop, I didn't have a clue of how to actually execute the orders, how to make money off of the trades, but I was looking at the charts and I found some stocks that I thought might be interesting, right? Maybe there's an opportunity there. And I would tell my dad. And from there, my dad would actually make money from them. And those were my first small little wins because, you know, hey, listen, you know, if I found some stocks that my dad made money on, that means I had the right idea. And that encouraged me, right? I wasn't upset that, oh, why didn't I make the same amount of money as my dad? Why didn't I actually take those trades and make money? I didn't think of it like that. I thought of it, hey, I found some stocks that made money for him. In the future, they're probably gonna make money for me. So those were that, that was a small win for me and that really helped me moving forward. So focus on the activities that lead to the goal. Don't focus on the results. Next one, begin to imagine what you're going to buy when you become the trader you wanna be. That also kind of goes into the mindset of I'm already a profitable trader. This is something I got from Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It is an amazing book. I was reading it as I was on the come up when it comes to trading. And something that really stuck out in that book was, he said that in your mind, you have to already perceive yourself as the thing that you want to become. So in this case, I had to perceive myself as a profitable day trader because that's ultimately my goal. And that's what I did. When I first started trading, in my mind, I was already a profitable trader. I already made money. In my mind, I was already thinking about all of the amazing things I'm going to buy with the money that I'm going to make. I never had a doubt in my mind that I wasn't going to become a successful trader because in my mind, I was already one. And I just had to go through the motions and go through, you know, go through the time, go through the reps of getting there. And you can't like doubt yourself. This kind of goes back to tenant number one. You can't doubt yourself and really, you know, sit down, think of yourself. Hey, I'm, I'm a profitable trader already. What am I going to buy with the money I'm going to make? And maybe write, write it down as well. Write down when you're going to become a profitable trader. Give yourself six months to a year, right? Right. Next October. 
I'm making this amount of money, I'm buying this, this, and this, write it down and obsessively think over that. Like I said, the power of your thoughts can, I truly believe can manifest things into existence. It might sound crazy, it might sound super astrological, whatever, I don't care. It works for me and I want you guys to do it as well. So your mindset should already be that you are what you want to become and never doubt yourself. You need to have that inner self-confidence. And hopefully this video will help you, right? We're, we didn't talk about price action. We didn't talk about support and resistance, picking entries. We talked about your mindset and your mindset is what's ultimately going to make all of those things possible. It's, going to, it's, it's what's going to make you profitable. Because like I said before, it doesn't matter how much work you do, if your mindset isn't right, you're never going to make any progress. So hopefully this video helps your mindset and puts you into that mental frame that you need to become a successful trader. If you found value in this video, definitely subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.